<laughs> oh, you knew it was coming. Stop playing. You knew it was coming. Stop playing. Y'all sent me. Let me count here. I had it written down. Okay, there you go. There you go. Uh, 17 messages so far. 17. That's what you sent me. 17 messages about what do I think about Meek Mill ripping down DJ Clue's booth. You know what I say to that? What planet are you on? That was tight? Really? You know what this is? And then he talking about some I write my own stuff. Like that's a compliment. Dude. I mean, how many times did we hear that rap? I know I heard it at least six, seven times. If you if you an MC, a real MC, you don't repeat the same freestyle, what you call it a freestyle, over and over and over. I almost could finish the lines. That's how many times we've heard him say the same lines on Instagram. If it ain't gonna fit, it ain't gonna lit. I mean. Didn't he do that already? Didn't he? Didn't he put it in a diss song? When people say the same rhymes over and over, did he flip the Donald Trump line? If Trump win, he gonna he gonna try to box his head like the Mexican. Now he switched it now. Now that Trump win, they gonna try to box his head like the Mexican. Try to make it sound like it's something new. Dog, he wrote these rhymes way back. Way back in the day. And you know what that tells people? You got a lazy pen. Your pen game is lazy, brother. You real lethargic. And that's what it let MCs know. You lazy. You lazy with the pen. You couldn't hang in a battle. That's why you don't freestyle battle. You ain't made for it. Back when you was dirt broke, broke with the dirty braids, you probably had a whole book of rhymes. Now, you ain't got the time no more. Now, that ain't get you paid. That ain't get you fed. This garbage getting you fed. So, that's what you sticking to. And this is the type of stuff I talk about all the time. And the reason why I talk about it because I bring the reality of the situation back to form. People have forgotten the rules of this game. The rules of the game is respect the architect. Show respect for the craft. These guys don't do that. It's a whole new order now where a bunch of whack people who are in charge backing up garbage rhymes and garbage lyrics. Now when somebody like Tribe Called Quest drops something that's classic and epic, y'all trying to blow it off like it's nothing. And that's the sad part. Then you got clowns like this going around representing the culture with this whack music. And we supposed to like him because he's from Philly? Like, what does that mean? Man, he's from Philly. He's trying to grind. You know how many people from Philly trying to grind? And if this clown's in the way, he's just in the way. That's all that means. They need to get him out of the way so they can get back to handling business. That's what they need to do. Now, there's some other things I could talk about too 
with Mr. Mill. People like you got a hundred videos hating on Meek Mill. I thought it was more like eighty, but I take a hundred. But that it is what it is. So that that whole he just burnt down the booth and he previewing DC four point five. If that's the case, then he can keep it because we didn't already heard it. So please stop telling me it's fire and I'm getting fire stuff with me. Man, like y'all make yourselves look like clowns. And I'm gonna start airing you clowns out and putting y'all on blast. But the problem is y'all like the attention so much. That's right up y'all alley. Y'all line up for stuff like that. He mentioned my name. So, it makes no sense to even do that. You know? I think this is educational. I'm glad he's rapping. And that's why he don't like to do interviews. He likes to rap because he doesn't want to get ask any of the questions so when you got a rapper that don't want to do anything but rap that's cool but if you don't answer certain questions and you choose to do one interview with one person and the interview is scripted then I don't we you can't honor that Right? Y'all got on Drake talking about Drake, man, he don't do interviews and he don't talk about the ghost right. I don't care who wrote it. I care who rocked it. Ghost right, man. MC supposed to be it's about who the best with that pen, man. It's about rappers always been about that. No, that's what you tried to turn it into. Raps all rappers always had ghost writers and people writing for them and they crew was never frowned upon until somebody said it's the wrong thing to do. Jay-Z's wrote for Foxy, Jay-Z's wrote for other people, Big wrote for other artists, came Big Daddy Kane, Sugar Hill Gang, which started rap back in the day, was right. Everybody's right. Curtis Bro Blow used to write rhymes and do beats for Run DMC. DMC used to write for Run. Run didn't write raps. Even though they say, oh, he wrote this song, Ron was, Pin Game was very, very weak. He was more of a freestyle artist. He used to freestyle all his lyrics. He was more of a hype man. DMC gave him rhymes and said, this is you, this is you. You just put your run to it and that's it. But Run's the talker. That was his game. Meek Mill, weak pen. That's it. His rhymes are basic. It's always going to be about some money every 10 seconds because he has no diction and vocabulary. So please quit telling me it's fire. It's not fire. It's basic trash. When you hear something real, y'all don't even respect it. Now, this is real. Are y'all going to get down with that? That Tribe Called Quest, that's real. But no. We got to listen to Meek Mill's recycle rhymes all over again that he keeps talking about our freestyles and he burning it down. You see? When you got garbage MCs like this regurgitating garbage I want to see all his supporters come on my page. I want to see them leave their comments. I want to see them continuously leave their threats. Do it. Because all you doing is showing and exposing the fact that I am correct. Ain't nobody hating on him. We're pointing out the facts. Prove us wrong. <laughs> Show us the difference. <laughs> It's your boy Carcito. I'm out. And don't forget to subscribe. He said all the Meek Mill haters out there.
I want to tell y'all this. We love the real Philly. Okay? The real Philly. The real artists in Philly. That's who we support. Other than that, we out.